I'm Hugh Collingborn, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. In this video, I'll show you how to debug multiple SWFs simultaneously using the Amethyst Cylon Debugger's Listen and Attach mechanism. A large Flash or Flex project may be built from more than one compiled SWF file. For example, here I've got two SWFs in a web page. The first sends text to be displayed in the second. The important thing to notice is that they've been programmed as two completely separate projects. Each project is in a different directory on disk. The projects are built independently of one another and they create independent SWF files. For convenience, I've added both projects to a single Visual Studio solution. Normally, you'd expect to debug one project at a time, but since I want to make these work together, I want to debug them together. And with Amethyst Professional, I can do that. Here, my sender project sends text to the receiver project with the help of the flash.net.localConnection class. I've built the two SWFs and I've added them to a web page. The web page could, in principle, be part of a much larger website and the SWFs could be on different pages or even on different servers. The website development is likely to be done in a location unrelated to my Flash or Flex development. You could create the web pages in Visual Studio or in an external tool, which is what I've done here with Dreamweaver. I've put my web page into this test directory, but the directory could be just about anywhere. As it needs to load both my SWFs, I've added a post build command in the project properties of each of my two projects in Amethyst. This causes the SWF to be copied from its normal output folder into my target folder containing the web page after each build. And I've also set the launch page to my target web page in each of the two projects. So no matter which is the startup project, it will always launch into that web page. Now, in order to debug into both programs, I need to set debug auto attach to true. I've put breakpoints in the code of both the sender and the receiver projects. And when I press F5 to start debugging in the normal way, the Amethyst debugger attaches itself not just to one project and one SWF, but to both. So when I send text from the sender SWF, I hit a breakpoint in the sender project's code. And when the receiver SWF receives the text, I hit a breakpoint in the receiver project's code. In a large project, of course, you could de debug through code used to build several SWFs running simultaneously. Incidentally, if auto attach has not been set, you may use attach to process. And this lets you attach the debugger to a specific running SWF. Let's look at another scenario. It may be that you want to run your programs outside of Visual Studio. Maybe you want to debug several SWFs that aren't even loaded into the same web page. They could even be run by different applications. Well, Amethyst has another trick to handle this situation too. Make sure that you have a solution loaded with all the projects you plan to debug. And of course you have to be sure that the debug version of the Flash Player is being used by each of the applications into which the SWFs will be loaded. You can now select Auto Attach plus this option to put Amethyst into Listen Mode. When it's in Listen Mode, the debugger sits waiting for an SWF to be loaded and when that happens, it auto attaches so that debugging becomes activated. Here, for example, I'm loading the receiver SWF in a web page in Internet Explorer and right away a breakpoint is hit. I press F5 to continue. Now I'm going to run the sender SWF in the Flash player. The Amethyst debugger is still listening at this point, so when the new SWF loads, it once again auto attaches. So a breakpoint in sender will work just like the breakpoints in receiver. And now I can debug not only across two SWFs, but even across two applications, the Flash player and the web page inside Internet Explorer. And of course, once a breakpoint is hit, I can use all the debugging tools of Amethyst to navigate the call stack, watch variables and drill down inside them, uh, evaluate variables in the editor, and so on. So that's 
a look at a very simple example of using auto attach and listen to debug multiple SWFs across one or more web pages or applications. For more on Amethyst Professional or to download a trial copy, visit the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.